I I don't make trouble for anyone and and I always try to pass my classes. So why haven't you come to meet me? Uh, because you're my teacher and I see you every day in school. And after school I go home to help my mom. Do you know that most of your mates have been coming to me and they have all complied? Yes, I can make you have good grades and be tough in your class. So why are you trying to act now? Stop! I report to the principal. Ah, you don't play along, right? You think you are smart? You are trying to act as if you know what you are doing. Listen. I'm in charge of three of your subjects. You don't know that I can make you pass or fail. You don't know that most of your teachers are my friends and I can tell them to fail you. You are trying to act like you are smart. Hmm? I will deal with you in this class. You will never have any good grade if you don't comply. Now, get out of my office. What do you even have that you're trying to flirt? I want to help you while you are misbehaving. crying again. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Eh? Has your father started beating your mother again? That you head like coding bottle. What did they happen for that your house, self? Yeah, yeah. I'm tired, sir. I'm just, I'm just tired of this now. I, I don't even know what to tired? do. Tired? Smart girl like you? I can't be tired of life now. You have so much to live for. Why are you tired? Why are you saying something like that? That's rubbish talk. Eh? What's wrong? Eh? Sometimes, eh? I just wish I was born into a different family. <laughs> different families? Do you know how many broken homes are out there? Do you know how many people are in pain out there? Do you know how many people that are suffering out there? You wish you are from. <laughs> you want to be six feet? You want to be six feet under? My girl, you have to change your orientation. There's more to live for. There's something we have discovered. It will show you peace. You want to be in heaven? Be in heaven. Very chill. You have no problem. Nothing to worry about. Oh, because I don't even want, I don't even want to think of anything. Is it not me, a white dog? I will show you. Just follow me. Yeah? Follow me. All my parents know is to give me money. And they believe everything is okay. Just say party they are doing here, my parents don't arrive. My parents are ready to attend any party in this world. But the care of their own child is the least of their problem. 
don't even know how I cope in school. All my promotions were virtually paid for. The annoying part is, I can't even communicate with these people. Who you want to follow talk? Papa, Mama. It's like, they know I'm alive, but they don't care if I'm leaving. I know, like, uh, they bothered me before. Like, he used to bother me. But, but since I found this baby, <laughs> this, this, this right here, I don't care anymore. They don't send me, and I don't send them. At least, you should really react that you'll not be raped every night. I don't understand. You want a world room, right? I live in a world room. I did live for hours. We then get money. Where, where? But I will give anything to live in the streets. Just the thoughts of going back home to be raped by my auntie's husband scares the living day out of me. I don't understand. My dear, this is the only way we know. I will make ourselves feel happy. I will make ourselves feel at peace. But today, that you walk with me, you white dog, I will show you the way. Baba. You see this one with that, eh? That one is called Kudin. When you drink this one, you will feel so slow, like you will be feeling the movement of the air. Can you hold the air? Can you hold the air? That one is called drama dog. One thing. You will be so high. Higher than the most high. You will be wavy. And you see this one? This one is Igbo. Me. Better Igbo. It's one tie of this one. Nothing can bother you. All your sorrows, all your problems, be dead. See? Don't worry, today you'll be happy. Uh, can I take off? You want to take everything? <laughs> no, Allah, well, just start with this one first. You'll be alright. Yeah? More small. More small. Yeah? JDC. <laughs> small, small, you're yeah, a beginner. Don't worry, you gave me. Hey, This picture, you know, is uh, depicting um, see, uh, one greedy fat man who is trying to sit on the wealth of Nigeria, you know. And this is what's happening in our society today, where just one group of people want mm. to enjoy everything, you know, all the wealth of the country. And uh, if you take a look at this one up here, it's more like a solution. Um, you see, uh, if we're able to out of these things, uh, the corruption, the crime, the fraud, and injustice, and we will have a better Nigeria. See, the Nigeria is smiling. <laughs> and you won't believe it. And they're the kids. <laughs> they're the job. And these kids, they are fantastic. God, please help me close my door. Look, 
the young people affiliated with this organization, they're so smart. Most of them, they use uh, uh, pictures to depict ills and vices in society today. Who's it? Come in. Oh, for me. Is everything okay? No, sir. Everything is not okay. What happened? On my way back from one of the schools, I met a girl buying drugs and it just saddened me. For me? This happens all the time. You should be used to that by now. Uh, no, no, sir. This, this is different. How? I know this girl. She was my junior back in secondary school. This girl's girl is smart. This girl is beautiful. I never expected someone like her to be involved in drugs. I've seen a lot of cases in 17 different schools I've visited, but but this 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 just this just makes me it just breaks my heart and I don't I don't know what could have gone wrong. What is happening to our world today? I mean. These are our future leaders. These are the young people we depend on. Yeah, John, you're yeah, coming to my office. Yeah, just right now. We have a special case I want you guys to take a look at. Okay. Fumi, uh, I want you to take it easy, okay? You know this is a very delicate situation, so let's start easy and then we'll get her back to us, okay? All right. So, uh... Drugs destroy families. Drugs destroy societies, nations. The use of drugs is totally counterproductive to the growth and development of nations and their people and sadly the youths are the most affected from the use of drugs um, i'm talking about uh, bad substances and the misuse of uh, prescription drugs but there is hope there is hope for a new world where information is accessible to provide help for those who are already uh, trapped in the use of drugs or those who are about to go down that road. And let us come together as a people. And let us create a world that is not just peaceful, livable, sustainable, but a world that is free from drugs. Let's also remember that dysfunctional families create bad children. They breed bad citizens. They breed bad leaders. Say no to drugs.